Hi, it's Sarah Berry here from stampwithsarah.co.uk. If you shopped with me during January, you will have received one of these make and take packs. Inside here is everything you need in the way of cardstock, pattern paper, and the punch outs and embellishments. You just need to add a few of your own supplies. So first of all, you'll need to find out some foam pads. You'll need some glue dots. You'll need some sort of tape, whether that be a double-sided tape or on a tape runner. You also need an ink pad of your choice. I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black. You'll also need a paper trimmer. In addition, you might find it useful to use a pickup tool and also a bone folder. Okay. So once you've opened your pack, you can refer to the instructions on the back of the, um, the pack here, or you can just follow along my video too. So you already have a card that's pre-folded, uh, pre-scored and folded. You might just want to take your bone folder and give that edge a nice crease. So that's ready. This color is petal pink. You then have a layer of Whisper White. Um, we, we do actually call this Basic White now. Um, okay, so you can stick that straight down onto your card. This is already cut to size. That just lays on the front. Get that nice and centered. Okay. Then what you'll need to do is take your pattern paper. Now the pattern paper pieces might be different to this one, so just choose your favourite design. Bring, a, bring in your trimmer and you'll want to cut this at a diagonal. So you'll want to cut it something like that in your trimmer. Everyone's line will be slightly different. There's your two pieces. You want to add some foam pads onto the back of this. Make sure you put them in all the corners and also a couple in the center. Okay, so those are now ready. Now what you need to do is lay them on top of your card and that will give us an idea of where we can stamp our greeting. So you'll want to choose your own greeting from your supplies. The one in the photograph is from the art gallery stamp set and it's I'm thinking of you. So I'm going to choose happy birthday i think from this one so it's up to you try and choose something that's nice and slim and long just to fit the design of this card so that's going to set somewhere like that there i'll just put that on a block okay so the reason I'm just laying the paper over the top is because um, it gives me an idea of my angle to put my um, my stamp, to, put, to stamp down. So what I'm going to do is ink up my stamp like that. And then I'm going to line up the bottom, the edge of my block with this paper like that. That gives me my greeting going in the same direction, the same angle as my pattern paper. And that's it, that's all I'm doing for stamping. Now I can put my, um, put my foam pad backing off. Oops. Like that. 
and then the one at the top. There we go. Okay, so now for the decoration, and this is where the foam, um, the glue dots come in. So you want to take the flowers, you should have three punched flowers and also some little um, gems. You may have different ones to, um, to the pack here, the photograph. Those are the gilded gems and then I've got some different ones in this pack. So whatever you have, you might have rhinestones too. So whatever ones you have, they will work. So I'm just going to put a little bit of um, tape there and you'll find you have two of these sprigs. These are punched out in mossy meadow from our sprig punch. Just take the ends of the sprig and push them down into the little bit of tape that you've put down there, like that. Now I've placed my flowers onto my um, glue dots. I'm gonna pe peel them away. And as I place them down, I'm just going to give them a pinch just to crease them up a little bit. There we go. And then you just decorate your card with these flowers. Give them a pinch. There we go. And then the last one. So the flowers I have here are Poppy Parade, Bubble Bee and um, Merry Merlot. And I've just taken those from the pattern paper that you can see here. So this is where you might need your tool just to help you pick up the gems. Lots of people ask me if that um, leaves any sticky residue on your gem, and it doesn't. Just picks it up and then you push it down. There we go. So that's it. That's our card for January. That's our make and take. If you have watched this video and you would like to join in and you didn't actually order um, or shop with me in January, I do have some of these packs still available and you can purchase them on my website. All right, so thank you very much for watching. I hope that I will see some of your cards. I'd love to see some with the different pattern papers. Um, if you'd like to follow um, the details on the back here, you can either send me a photo on my Facebook page or you can email me a photo as well and I will, um, I'd, I'd just love to see them. All right, so um, I will see you again next month. Next month we have a different make and take pack going out and um, yeah, thank you again. See you, bye.